today's tip has to do with working with nature. So trying to work with your site's hydrology, the way the water flows um, or behaves in your landscape, instead of trying to work against it. And you can incorporate your hydrology into your landscape design. One way is by leaving any vegetation that you might have around a body of water or a wetland. It's going to slow down the water and hopefully take up some nutrients before it enters that body of water. Um, also, you want the, the goal would be to have water move across your landscape without causing any damage or carrying pollution. One strategy you might consider is to incorporate a rain garden and that's going to be a place where you can uh, slow down runoff and promote infiltration. Allow that water to soak into the ground rather than carrying pollutants into our local waterways. We do have a great online resource, the Virtual Rain Garden through the Carolina Rain Garden Initiative. Um, pretty easy to find if you do a search, just Clemson and Rain Garden, it should be one of the first things that pop up.